Yes, Cynical Spicy Square. Finally here. Hey George, did you get the disguises? Oh, um, no. What the? Ugh. Now how are we going to get in? Well, um, I do have these fake mustaches. Will that work? Fine. Oh, hello, good sirs. Welcome to Cyndaquil Spicy Square. How may I help you? Oh, hello, good, good woman. Uh, 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 we would like to order uh, some food here. All right, let me get you a table first. I actually, uh, we actually came here to, to eat all the food to go. Huh, no one's ordered food to go in ages. Well, anyways, uh, okay, what can I get for you guys? Oh, uh, uh probably some, uh, chicken. What kind of chicken? Well, I don't know, like, chicken strips? Oh, okay, give me one moment. <sighs> All right, here is your chicken strips. Thank you, kind madam. All right, let's go. Yes. <sighs> wait, wait, wait a minute, you forgot the pen! <sighs> Yeah, I didn't expect those disguises to work either. I never thought something so simple could be so effective. But all that matters now is that we have this nice, delectable meal to ourselves. Yeah, now let's just hope that no one sees us with plush safe. Oh man, I can't wait to chow down on the- Uh-oh. Greg? George? Where were you? Uh... Uh, we ordered at Cyndaquil Spicy Square? What? <gasps> How dare you do that? How dare you do something so simple? I can't believe you guys just ordered plush city food and thought about eating it right in front of my face. Also, we refused to pay for it. Uh, oh, well, I guess that makes it a bit more acceptable. But why would you want to eat that disgusting food? Because we're tired of your disgusting food! <gasps> Insulting your boss's food? That's even worse! Why would you do that? Why would you say that to me, George? I never thought I would say this, but... George is right. The food that you serve to us down here is disgusting! The only re in fact, the only reason that we did this we ordered food at CSS is only because we wanted to eat some good food. Food that we would actually enjoy consuming. All we want is just to eat some good food. Is that too much to ask? If it means going up to the surface of Plush City and ordering it peacefully, then yes. In fact, it's so unacceptable, I guess I might as well just have to- Oh! Oh, uh, what was that? It's Ugly Squid. Ugly Squid? We better go check on him. Yeah. <coughs> Why can't the stupid network stop showing commercials for CSS? All I want is just to watch my favorite TV show. Is that too much to ask? Ugh. If only there was a way for that restaurant to be gone. Hey, an idea. <gasps> We're here, Ugly Squid, what do you need? Oh, perfect timing. I just came up with an idea that might be absolutely dreadful. But, Ugly Squid, I thought you said that you wouldn't want to come up with plans when you're sick. Yeah, I did say that, but the thing is, I specifically said I didn't want to spend my time coming up with evil plans. This one I just came up with right on the spot and kind of accidentally. Oh, okay, well, what is it then? I was thinking that maybe you and some of your friends could run your own restaurant. Wait, and that means we get to decide what we eat! Yeah! And that means we get to eat all the good food that we want! Well, I mean, I wasn't really imagining like, like that, but okay. But what I really wanted you guys to do was to try to get CSS out of business. Hmm, it's gonna be hard to do, but it'll be worth a shot. So, anything that you want us specifically to do for the restaurant? Uh, no. 
I'm sick, so I'm just gonna let you guys be in charge of the plan. But all I want is that you make a restaurant, and that restaurant is so good that it gets CSS out of business, okay? Alright, Uncle Squid, we'll get onto it right now. <sighs> now that those boys are away, it's time to sit back and watch all the television that I want. And now more news on Zyndaquil's Spicy Square! <gasps> Bro, why'd you call me here? Me and Martin were playing patty cake! Glad you asked, Henry, because me, you, George, and Marvin are all going to create our very own restaurant with the sole purpose of making good food? Partly, but most importantly, getting Cyndaquil's Spicy Square out of business because Ugly Squid told us so. And that begs the question, where do we start, Greg? Glad you asked. Now, even though Ugly Squid's order was incredibly vague, we already know a lot of details about what we need to do. All four of us need to create a restaurant that has a better balance of food and expense than Cyndaquil Spicy Square, and is appealing to enough people to attract them to our restaurant, and it, need and it needs to have good enough opinions on the people than Cyndaquil Spicy Square to the point where Cyndaquil Spicy Square has to be shut down because no one's getting any customers and they're not making money. Well, 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 well. Well, hold on, we make it a fast food restaurant! I was actually expecting a five-star first-class restaurant with fancy decorations and strong tastes, but you may actually have a point. Most fans of restaurants are little children, and little children mostly favor fast food restaurants. So maybe if we make a fast food restaurant, then maybe we can attract a lot more young children to our audience, and that could possibly get us some higher standards. So basically, we just need the food to have high amounts of sugar, salt, and grease in them. And most importantly, make them mostly burgers and fries! Well, I suppose so. I don't know, Greg, I still have my doubts. Remember what happened to McDonald's? That old-style restaurant targeted towards children? Where they made their food so good to the point where it felt like disgusting to adults? Well, George, I'm not talking specifically about McDonald's. I'm talking about basically fast food in general. Quick and easy ways to get delicious food without having to pay that much fo money for it. Yeah, Morgan's got a point there. The food should be so cheap that I can use my allowance to pay for everything on the menu. Um, you don't get allowance. Exactly! Well, I mean, maybe we shouldn't put it to that extent, but sure. Okay, I think we got everything planned out. So where do we start? Well, I think the most logical thing to do is figure out what our restaurant is going to look like. Oh, the entire restaurant! Don't worry, guys, I got this all figured out. Here we go! This blueprint is so simple, I'm not even sure if we should call it a blueprint. I mean, George, the fast food place is going to be pretty simple. Good point. A playhouse? You really want a playhouse in here? I mean, yeah! Playhouses are super fun! And what else can attract kids more than a playhouse? I mean, if you think about it, playhouses are what attract kids most to places, especially fast food places. Yeah, you, you really have a point. There's no place like playhouses that can attract kids to places. I mean, playhouses are like super fun, so obviously kids wanna, would want to go to place with the playhouses. Jumbo Burger? That's the name that you came up with? What? I like the name, and it's very fitting for the restaurant! Hmm. I was going to say that we would name it something like Scoopa Koopa's Fast Food, but... Maybe with such a simple name for such a simple restaurant? Maybe something like that could actually work. Oh! Building the restaurant? Don't worry guys, leave all of this to moi. Okay. Henry, are you sure about this? Trust me, I know exactly what I'm doing. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> well, that's enough work for one day.
one day. We're never gonna get anywhere at this rate. And then King Arthur saved the Girl Scouts from both the builder because ah! Because what? Why do we interrupt my story? I was telling King Dini about to kill a rocking chair. Kemic, I apologize for interrupting your original story, but we need you to make us a fast food restaurant. Oh, uh, all right then. Like, where do you want me to put it? Like over there. Oh, okay. All right. My magic and Ruba Luba Scoopa Koopa. Oh yeah, and could you change your name to Jumbo Burger? But I like Scoopa Koopa a lot more. I do too, but we're trying to appeal to children here. Uh, fine. Ruba Luba Jumbo Burger. <laughs> Happy? Yeah. Now get out of here. Henry's about to wake up. A little rude, but okay. <laughs> hey Henry, look what you did. Uh, what is it? Gr <gasps> that is the most beautiful restaurant I've ever seen. Did I make that? Yeah, you sure did. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I want you to take these suits. You're gonna need them. Oh, thank you. Three hours into work. And no customers. Great. Now I'm bored. <coughs> Hello? Hi, boss. I know this is kind of an awkward call. Kawasaki! Why are you working on at work? You're three hours late! I'm sorry, Cyndaquil. I tried to get here a long time ago, but something caught my eye. Where are you? Right in front of the building, sir. Better be pretty important. All right, Kawasaki, this better be pretty important because if this is happening again, you're gonna get to mo a brand new restaurant. Yeah, sir. Isn't it gorgeous? You're not planning to quit, are you? Oh uh, no, sir. It's just that. Do you think we might have some competition now? I mean, that place does look pretty popular. And it's right across the street! Is this why we haven't been getting customers for three hours? You haven't gotten a single customer in the last three hours? No. All because of that place. We, we better, better do, do something about this. Alright, everybody, listen up. We've got a cold red here. There's a new restaurant across the street, and it's been stealing all of my customers. We're engaging in war. Wait, what? No! I don't want to go back to war! Because if I do, I'll get PTSD all over again! What? No, it's not that kind of war. We're going into a restaurant war. Uh, oh, okay. So you're meaning to sell? That, that restaurant across the street is the reason why we haven't been getting any customers? Yes. And the question is, how are we going to overthrow them? How can we make our restaurant better than them? Hey, I'm Cyndaquil. I can't put my stub on it, but something tells me that I've engaged in a restaurant more before. How can you? This is the only restaurant you've ever worked in your, in your entire life. I know, boss, but something tells me that I may have owned my own restaurant that was engaged in the restaurant war before. It was like a, a small little thing, and it was this restaurant across the street, and just me and everything better. I, I can't remember much of it, it was probably just, just some fever dream or something. But what I do remember is that I tried to make my food cheaper in order to outclass their restaurant and i also tried to use spicy foods but we already serve spicy food so that wouldn't really work making food cheaper i mean we do have a pretty big budget i don't see the problem with that come on guys let's make our food cheaper <laughs> all right 
Pico. You have a really good job today. So where do you want to eat? I want to go and eat like Jumbo Burger. Their place has like really good food and like, yeah. Okay, I guess we'll... Oh, she's the gross spicy script. Everything is eating for day off. Pico, we're going to see it again. No, we're going to Jumbo Burger. free what yeah the, uh, they, uh, I saw a sign on the building that said everything is free what Ugh, come on how can you make a sustainable profit out of something like that now are we going to backfire well I suppose we could always pay people to eat here um no 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 that we are not going to last long if we do that so that makes the question how are we going to backfire uh, guys, um, I think we got some good news. Um, I just looked outside and they have a sign that says, Help Wanted. Huh? Oh, yes! Then they must have been having trouble then. Also below it, it says, Now Hiring. <gasps> I get to work at that with Successful Plus? Yes, sir! Let me get back in! <sighs> well, he's gone. You're gonna stay with me, right, Noah? Well, yeah. It's gonna take a lot more than that to convince me. Hey, a hundred dollars an hour? Okay, I know that free food is ridiculous, but how can you make a budget up of a place that offers employees a hundred dollars an hour? A hundred dollars an hour? Oh yeah, set me up! <sighs> Way to go, Willow! You just got rid of two of our best employees! That's it. I'm giving you a demotion. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, about that, I, I mean, I mean to tell you that I, What? Uh, You're going to work at that place, too? Oh, no, I'm not going to go over to work at that place. It's just that, um, I'm gonna quit. Because now I just realize that I am not happy with what I'm doing with my life. I remember when I was a child, I wanted to be an artist. And somehow, I ended up here. So... It was good working for you, but now, I'm gonna be working at a place that truly makes me happy. Hey boss, um, I've been begging to tell you- What?! So what do you wanna tell me?! The fact that you wanna quit too?! What? No! I'm always gonna stay with you, boss! It's just that, um... You have a customer at your door. You have a customer! Oh boy, oh boy, a new customer! Hey, Santa Claus, I've been meeting to talk to Santa! Okay, uh, what can I get for you? Um, I wasn't actually gonna order anything. What? You have to order something! What other reason would you want to be here? I wanted to talk to you about this place called Jumbo Burger. Jumbo Burger? <sighs> Figures. That place is stupid. And it took away all my customers. Exactly. I'm not ready for your establishment to go out of business. I love your food. You've only ordered one thing on my menu for the years that you've been ordering at this place. Plus, if you really like my restaurant because of the food, then why don't you just order a Jumbo Burger? Because that place is disgusting! The amount of sugar, grease, and salt that they put in their products just makes me want to... And that's exactly why I want to help you, because some place like that doesn't deserve to be in business. Alright, well, uh, what do we do? Well, when I think about it, I think I may have some experience in these restaurant wars. I can't put my finger on it. Yeah! I'm not alone! Carrie, you're not a dog! Put me down, please. Oh, 
Sorry. I just got a little excited there. <laughs> and my advice for you is to try to make your place... Well, try to make people know that you exist. Like, like try advertising. That'll surely get, like, convince people to go there. I consider that, but every single advertisement that pops up on my computer now is Jumble Burger. I mean, how can I compete with that kind of advertising? Not to mention that the commercials are super annoying. Who in their right minds would listen to that all day long? I could listen to this commercial all day long. Hmm, I see. Well, maybe you could just try and advertise on your building, I guess. Or maybe try to expand your food so that it would be more open to different audiences. I mean, not everyone has to like the same thing. You know, I think you're right. Maybe I just do need to work my food. Maybe I just need to spice things up a bit. Please never make that joke again. See ya! All right, time to go. All right, Chef Kawasaki. If we want to overthrow Jumbo Burger, then we're gonna go have to go see the drastic methods to do it. First, let's start a little more calmly. Let's see, uh, let's spices. Third, we have a whole cupboard full of spices. But I guess we could use them a little bit more. Alright, appetizers and how about digital ordering? Oh, that sounds like a really good idea. We've never had a website before. I'll get to it right now. Oh, okay, it's too much yet. We're gonna have to take it up a notch. Alright. Um, make us some more commercials. Sure, we already have enough commercials as it is, but considering how much commercials Jumbo Burger has, I don't see why not. Make us open 24 7. Sir, how is that gonna help? Oh, yeah, and make everything free. Boss, we're not gonna make any money if we're gonna make everything free. I care about the money, I care about customers. Okay, okay. Can't buy anything on my menu then. Well, you want a coupon? One question. What on earth have you done to this place? Oh, just some reservations. You call this reservations? You've turned this five-star first-class restaurant into a fast food place. Why? Because that's what everybody likes nowadays, right? I, I gotta 
get on that truck train. I, I gotta join it so, so, so people can buy my stuff. Cynical, we need to talk. Your restaurant was the best in the business. Your restaurant has become a trademark or like a mascot to Plush City as a whole. That's how successful it was. And when you made changes to the restaurant, it was only with like adding small little food adjustments or just the prices. And yet, here, you were so desperate for change that you decided to turn it into a whole fast food joint. Because no one likes my food anymore. When people are so obsessed with fast food nowadays, I thought I'd just chop up the train too. No one likes my food anymore. Cinequil, just because people aren't going to your restaurant doesn't mean that they don't like your food. I know a lot of people in Plush City that still like your food, but there's just something else that catches their attention a lot more effectively. Cynical, your restaurant isn't broken. It's just unrecognized. So please, don't fix it. Don't change it. Expose it instead. But how am I going to expose myself more than a place like Jungle Burger? Who posts their advertisements every second? That's what I was thinking too. And it's about time that I probably tell you this. Jungle Burger's definitely after your guts. What? They're going to kill me! <laughs> well, maybe not to that extent, but they are definitely targeting your restaurant. Because if you think about it, that place literally came out of nowhere and made more money than you did your entire business in less than a week. No restaurant does that accomplishment and is considered normal. And it's also founded right across from your restaurant, which is a little creepy. So I came to the conclusion that T Jumbo Burger is definitely targeting you. And in a situation like this, maybe we shouldn't overthrow them, but sue them instead. And how are we going to do that? Hmm. Cynical, leave this one to me. Hmm. Super childish and pullable. Perfect. Oops, it fell over. Henry. <gasps> yes! This is your conscience, Henry. Oh, my conscience! What do you do? How? It's been years since we talked to each other. How are you doing? You must put more sugar into your shake, Henry. But there's already a lot of sugar in it anyway. Why should I? Because if you do, you'll make more money than you ever could. And you could finally buy those cross-action figures you saw at the toy store yesterday. <gasps> the cross-action figure? Oh, yeah, let's go! Mm. Well, that was good. All right, time to check out. All right, I'm here to get more. Whoa, what is that? Oh, Liz, this is just our new trademark sheet called the... Uh, um, the magical chocolate shake, yeah! You want to be the first customer to try our trademark shake? Hmm, I don't know. This does look pretty delicious. Hey, B2, do you want a chocolate shake? Uh, so, so. <coughs> well, I guess he, if he's not going to have it, I will. Alright, time to try this, baby. Manager, please. Um, I am the manager? Court case number 18. Pichu, are you even old enough to sue? I'm with him. Okay. Pikachu versus Jumbo Burger is now in session. Pikachu, how about you tell us your side of the story? Uh, don't worry, I'll fill in for him. So... I was just having a nice day at Jumbo Burger eating all the good food that I wanted. And then they made this trademark shake. It was like magical and chocolate. And I really wanted some, but I couldn't because I was so full. And so my big bro, Pikachu, decided that he wanted to try some for himself. One sip, dead on the ground. 
Did you try using CPR? Doesn't that stand for circuit pressure revival? I did, but it didn't work. Hmm, I see, I see. Alright, well, what about Chumbo Burger? What do you have to say about the situation? Well, uh, you see, it's kind of a funny story. Um, uh, the cat! No words for how stupid this employee is. Hi, I'm not an employee, I'm a manager! <laughs> Why are you serious anyway? It's not like this is the only bad thing we've done! Come on, it was accidental! You think that was the only accident? Ever since you opened up, I've gotten more patients than I have during the corn virus! And that's saying something! Yeah, and you made our children go insane for two weeks! You think that's bad? The first time I went to Jumbo Burger, two of my kids went into a coma! Especially when considering your food has more sugar in it than Overdrive! Short! I think we get it. Jumbo Burger is responsible for a lot of troubles. Please, man! We're not responsible for anything! We're just employees trying to do our job! Man, it's getting really hot in the suit. Suit? Did I hear you say something a little bit sketchy? Uh, no. <gasps> what the? Great George, Marvin, and Henry? You guys are part of the bad guy clan, aren't you? Uh, no. I don't think we need any more information. All of you are guilty for all the troubles that you've caused through this city. And because of it, you'll have to be charged five hundred million dollars for all the faulties that you've created, as well as a life sentence in prison. Case closed. All right, guys, you're coming with me. Wait, no! What the fuck? Hey, you can't steal my friend like that! <laughs> George, I swear this happens every week. Speaking of. <laughs> Alright, boys, let's take these guys to a special case in the prison. Well, that takes care of that. Alright, next up. Next court case is Dear Ugly versus. Joe? Who the heck is Joe?